Canola is one of Canada's largest industries. It's worth $27 billion. It's actually like surprisingly really, really big in our country. So I think, especially with the downturn of oil and gas right now, it's actually uh, really important for us to focus on other industries that are also really big. Essentially, canola is grown through, throughout the year. However, when we have um, the unpredicted weather, so like random snowstorms in the middle of July, the natural chlorophyll degradation pathway in canola seeds is messed with, so it can't be broken down anymore. This pigment accumulates within the seeds and then it's retained in the oil, which makes it really difficult to process and thus really difficult to sell. Oil and gas was always such a strong player in the economy, but diversifying into our other sources of funding, canola is really high up there. The fact that green seed is conventionally left as, well, it's a really big problem, it seems like a big black box that has been untouched that can be opened. Uh, we spend a lot of time together, so everyone on the team gets really close really quickly, and before you know it, you just realize that you're just, you're suddenly part of this new family. I love my team so yeah. much. Yeah, our team dynamic is great. All of us are really, really good friends. And I think that's what makes it worthwhile. We can come together to work and then we feed off each other's positive energy and get inspired by each other to work harder every day. So essentially what we're doing in our project is um, the green seed problem is when excess green chlorophyll pigments are retained in seeds when they're harvested. So when the oil is pressed out of those seeds, the oil is also green and it causes it to spoil a lot faster. So what we're trying to do is um, produce a protein that can bind chlorophyll in E. coli. So we'd mass produce this protein and then we'd mix it in together with the oil and then we'd separate the protein from the oil and that leaves the clear oil behind and then the protein is also bound to the chlorophyll and can also be separated out. The biggest issue with uh, dealing with green seeds right now is that the industry standard for processing them involves the use of acid-activated clays. They're pretty much just really bad for the environment mm -hmm. and at the end of the process they're unreusable, they get dumped out into the environment, they can degrade soil quality and so we want to create a cleaner alternative to do the same thing and also reduce the strain on oil producers as well. You know the promise of synthetic biology is essentially that we can improve the sustainability of the way we manufacture things, the way that we manage agriculture in a way that we haven't seen before. And while our results are you know, really preliminary, I think it's extremely exciting and inspiring that we have something that shows us, look, we can do things a different and a better way.